Okay, now I have primed the new cartridges. Uh, by the way, uh, during the time I'm doing this recording on um, these 9mm, the small pistol primers that I've only been able to come across because of the shortage have been magnums. So I'm using magnum small pistol primers. So I am going to be compensating a little bit in the uh, powder that I'm using for the number of grains because I am using a, a, a higher charge, I guess you'd say, on these um, pistol primers. So I'm just, what I'm going with is the minimum uh, grains on the powder that I'm using. So the first thing I need to do with that is I've got to take this scale that I use right here, which the one that I use is a, a Hornady electronic scale to measure my grams of powder after I put them through my auto charger, the automatic powder charger that I use with my Lee press. So I'm gonna get that hooked up, set up, and then we'll uh, charge some rounds. Okay, first thing that I've done is I've set the uh, powder pass-through die in my single stage press. And to set this up, what you have to do is screw it down, screw the die down into the press until this barely touches the shell plate, back it off one turn, and then finger tighten the lock nut here. That way you're gonna get just enough expansion on the cartridge neck to where the bolt just sit nice and neat down in there after we've charged the round. So next step, I need to put the powder, automatic powder measure into place and then we'll get going. Okay, I have the automatic powder, powder measurer on my Lee single stage press. Uh, this uses what's called an auto disc and in the Lee reloading handbook you have a number of these little discs that go onto the the powder measure and when you and I'll show this as obviously as we go along but when you pull down on the press uh, a little mechanism up through the die presses this powder measure over which has dropped enough powder into this one of these little holes and that's what charge goes into the uh, into the round now you've got to prime this thing to make sure it's uh, throwing enough powder and then uh, what I've done is after I primed it I'm gonna take a couple of measurements to make sure I have the right amount of powder and just double check everything to make sure I don't double charge around that would not be good in a, in a firearm so I'm gonna prime it and then we'll get going and charge a couple of rounds okay now that I've got this primed here's what we're going to do you see I have a shell or cartridge that is about to be charged so what I'm gonna do is bring this all the way up and as you can see this moves in it puts the powder over the top of the shell that is gonna go down through here and into the cartridge when I let off so voila powder in the cartridge now what I need to do is make sure that it is the right weight so what I will do is I'll put this little gizmo on here the it's gonna hold my hold my powder I've already calibrated this so we're okay this should come up to a hundred and thirty five point two grains this right here should be about 2.7 grains so when I look at that it's checking between 137.9 and 138 so there's my 2.7 I know that I am good to go as far as my charge goes and I can start going crazy with it So now, here's the fun part, we just take some of these little guys and start charging cartridges. Now what I will do as I go through this is I let them sit for a second, make sure we have a good charge. 
and also make sure that it's nice even pressure so as the neck expands a little bit to create that little bit of area for the projectile to seat in it also will give me an, an accurate and even charge throughout all the cartridges so I won't bore you with any more details we'll get into the next part of this when we actually put the projectiles on the round and finish up with the crimp.